It's 3 a.m., friend. The fight against the zombies can wait till tomorrow. For now, stay tuned for Once Upon a Midnight Gaming. Today's extra spooky wine is, um, Katana. Katana? No, Katana. Not K Katina? Could be Katina, I don't know. Could be. Malbec. It's, uh, 2016. What? It's got... Ooh. Oh, there we go. Mountains. It's got spooky mountains? There are spooky mountains from Argentina! Oh, that's definitely spookier than... United States of America. Okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's uh, Argentina. See? Whee! Got it? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and what does it feel like to be Miss You Know It All? Feels awesome as usual. <laughs> <laughs> So these games um, never appealed to me as a kid. Sacrilege. I remember this is one of those games. Well, Castlevania three specifically. I remember. Woo! Ah, what was that? That's a uh, splurp. It's a splooch. It's a splooch. That sounds. It's a splorp. <laughs> um, when I was a kid. <laughs> yes. We got Castlevania 3. Ah, it's a horse head. And I remember, like, my brother was, like, legit sick and got to stay home from school. And I was so jealous. What the hell? That one didn't do it. And I had to, like, pretend to be sick because I wanted to stay home and play the game. I was like, no way is he going to get to play the game all day, and <laughs> I don't. And I remember my, my dad, like... Be like, yeah, you don't look very sick to me because I was sitting there playing video games. <laughs> I don't know, I remember a distinct birthday where I was sick out of my wow. fucking mind, Fuck but I got Sonic 3 for the first time. And I'm like, there's no way I'm not playing this. Oh, yeah. Even though I had, probably had the flu. Like, let's be real, even if I was really sick, which yeah. I definitely wasn't. Um, you can play video games while you're sick. Come on. I was such a hooky player. I wasn't. No. But oh, you're a good kid. I was a good kid. <laughs> I was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a really, really good kid. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes you just don't want to go to school. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I've spent a lot of time not in school. <laughs> playing video games and watching TV, and it's why I'm so lazy as an adult. You're absolutely not lazy <laughs> as an adult. I've never seen anyone who works harder than you. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were probably like the complete opposite of who you were as a kid. Okay, when it comes to like doing adulting and work work, I don't want to do it and I want to play hooky. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, ah, you fuck. But you, you do do work. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, boss time. He doesn't look happy. They both don't look happy. I'm very worried about their mental state of health. Ah, uh, there's a commercial that Shane and I keep seeing on Twitch that we hate <laughs> about mental health. It's like got the worst metaphor ever. She no. hates it for the metaphor, and I hate it for the guy's affectation, the way he talks. It's just like talking about depression as if it were like a soda bottle, and if you, it gets all built up, this pressure, but if you take off the cap, 
It relaxes everything. The pressure is gone. Not exploding in your fucking face like you would in real life. It's a good point. Anyways, I highly recommend snow caps if you like chocolate. What if you hate chocolate? You know, I have a friend who hates chocolate. Or is not a fan of chocolate. Hmm. Somebody called me boring once because I got a vanilla ice cream cone. I mean... It's like, it's so boring. I was like, but it's delicious. You know, I used to like the Neapolitan like ice cream where like the Briars has the, the strawberry, strawberry yeah. the chocolate, and the vanilla. Yeah. I would eat the chocolate and vanilla exclusively and leave the chunk of strawberry. Oh, really? See, I would do... <laughs> We haven't talked about Caspian yet at all, but that's fine. <laughs> I would do the vanilla and the strawberry, but I felt like the chocolate was so overpowering that if you got even a little bit of chocolate in your spoon, it's all you tasted. Oh, I thought it was amazing. It's not bad. It's just in a in the sense of Neapolitan, it would be like the last thing I would have. Yeah, and Medusa. Wow. Uh, oh, oh my God! Leave me alone. Ah. Stop throwing snakes at me, that's so rude. Yeah, wow, I just made that. Wow. All right, you're up, you ready? Oh, nope. uh, you don't want this one. No, <laughs> I don't want this one. I want energy. I was so, like, I, one of my favorite fruits is strawberries, but I couldn't stand it in anything else. That's how I used to, oh, uh, no, it's not, never mind. I was gonna say that's how I felt about lemon, but I just didn't like anything lemon, and now I love it. Lemon's great. Yeah, as yuzu a kid, I hated it. What is? Yuzu. Have I exposed you to yuzu yet? No. Okay, so there's a Japanese lemon. So there's a little bit more, it's tart and very sweet, mm -hmm. according to however you find it. Like, yuzu liqueur is really good. Yuzu, yuzu anything is really good. If you want a more accessible lemon, that's the way to go. Oh, has anybody ever made something called lemon Snickers? Has anybody ever made anything <laughs> called lemony Snickers? Put it down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is some some. No. Yeah, like some. I'm sure on somebody's Pinterest, it's there. We'll have to Google that. If not, I'm gonna copyright it. Yuzu, promise. Yuhu. Yuzu. I told you that stupid joke about my friend and I and YouTube, right? Like, it sounds like you too. So whenever we go out to like dinner or something, they'd be like, "You guys have a nice night," and you'd be like, "You YouTube." <laughs> so stupid. Wow. <laughs> we thought we thought it was hilarious. I bet you did. You're like, oh man, you totally YouTubed her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to say a lot like, Youth. instead of "I'll be back," yeah, I would be like, "I'll be back." Huh? Like... The composer. Oh. No, like the fucking Terminator. Well, yeah, no, 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 but Bach. Yeah. But I'll be Bach. Yeah, but it wouldn't... Nobody would... But it is also a reference to the Terminator! <laughs> yeah, nobody would think you're talking about the composer. They would assume you're talking about... Bach? The Terminator. Versus... Yeah. Well, he's like, I'll Bach. be Bach. Yeah. But then you could be like, I'll be Bach. Sometimes I'm like, I'll be Bach, and I'm really talking about chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Bach, Bach. <laughs> yeah. Get it, guys? Yeah, yeah, like the Terminator. No, you fuck. <laughs> like chickens. <laughs> Stupid assholes. <laughs> You s <laughs> uncultured swine. I'm talking about the composer Bach. <laughs> you assholes. You're not fit for my humor. <laughs> Terminator, as if. Like, I always loved that it was like spooky and Dracula and castles and all the universal monsters and <gasps> stuff. Well, you know, that's another thing. Like, I was scared of everything as a kid. I was too, but like, in a weird way. Like, I still like Nightmare on Elm Street, but... Yeah. I was scared of, like, fucking Gonzo from The Muppets. Oh, I love Gonzo. I was terrified of him. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, listen, as an adult, I would date him also, but... Okay, so let's date <laughs> Gonzo. Let's get on this. Let's move Camilla out of the way and all of his, like, chickens. Camilla? Camilla. I, I can't kill the guy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The chicken. The, the main chicken. But he's dating all the chickens. He's Polly. I'll be balk. 
<laughs> Gonzo is falling. Okay. He's got a whole shit ton of chickens he's dating. What about Grover? Yeah, he's the inferior Gonzo, though. Oh. They're similar, right? Oh, yeah, they're totally similar. I always, I liked um, Grover on uh, Sesame Street. Muppets are like the gold standard, right? Yeah. Like when, you, when you're growing up, you're exposed to Muppets in some capacity. Mine was Muppets Take Manhattan was the big one. If you were a chicken, you were really exposed to Muppets. I mean, Muppets would also be Sesame Street, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, they're all Muppets. Right. Let's um, let's wrap up your thoughts on Muppets, and then we'll uh, and then we'll bail out of this one for tonight. All right. Uh, I'd, it's really complicated because I was gonna go on and on about those. Yeah, I was getting that feeling. <laughs> I was well, Muppets maybe are gonna, great. Yeah. Anyone who thinks not is a piece of shit. <laughs> you should unsubscribe now. All right, so Chan says Muppets, yes. Muppets, yes. All right, I think I'm going to die any second, and that'll be... If uh, you don't like Muppets, please tell us why. What I the, am yeah, what's your problem? What What is going on? Did They're somebody wholesome. hurt you? They're wholesome, except Did for Grover you? and Oscar. <laughs> no, not Oscar. Who's the one we're talking about? Gonzo. <laughs> Gonzo. Gonzo's a perv. The rest of it's nice, wholesome Muppets. <laughs> I kind of doubt that, but... <laughs> Yeah, the, some of those um, like 70s hippie psychedelic band guys. Now, why can't I go over here? Answer that. Science? It's not science, it's anti science. No, it's science! <laughs> if you can't go over there, there is nothing there. Nothing was programmed to be there. Programmed? programmed. Whoa, whoa! Oh, good and... night, folks! <laughs> Game over, perfect. So like and comment and ring the bell. Or else you're gonna go to hell. But hell doesn't really exist and it's just a construct of our mind and whatnot. And if you like, comment, and subscribe, you have nothing to worry about. Win-win. That's all for tonight, weary travelers. Find yourselves back to bed. Close your eyes. Let the darkness numb you. We'll be back another day. I promise. <laughs>